Hello everyone, I'm David. I'm Steve, and today we're going to talk to you about wallets. Yesterday I did a video, uh, was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. I did a video about Zappo, how to create a Zappo wallet. Now I chose Zappo because that is not a wallet that I use. Um, it's very simple, it's very fluid, it's easy to use, especially for beginners. And, um, some people don't like online wallets because it gives the control of your coin to someone else. Yeah. But um, I use the uh, example of, think of them as a bank and think of your PC as your bedroom. Would you store a million dollars in your bedroom or would you store it in a bank? Yes. You will trust the bank to have more security and more infrastructure in place. And obviously you'll go to a trusted bank. So basically we use trusted online wallets. Um, I have had no issue with Zappo. I've seen nothing to make me worry about them. Um, neither is Coinbase or blockchain. or blockchain. Those three or three I use, I think they're very useful. Yeah. Yeah. And they keep things very simple for persons just wanting to have a wallet on their mobile phone. Or, and, um, they have a verified list as well that you can check. Yeah, if you want to download another wallet that's not any of the three recommended, just make sure you download a wallet that is in the recommended list. Yeah. And um, you ask yourself, what is a wallet? David the Pro. <laughs> <laughs> a wallet. You know, a uh, a wallet. It allows you to store. A wallet. It allows you to store, um, receive, and send Bitcoin. And spend as well. So basically, what you can do, um, the online wallet, I'm speaking specifically the online wallet, for example, you can load your Bitcoins up there, you have your receiving address. If you want to spend your Bitcoin, you can use the mobile app, you can scan a QR code, or you just put your address in when you need to spend your coin. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to, say, when you go a little bit further in security and have a cold storage wallet. We don't want to get too technical too fast, but there are more secure ways of making sure your Bitcoin's not. Well, speaking of secure, I remember the online wallets offer, offer vaults. Yes, they Basically, have insurance. Yeah, yeah. Like insurance. Insured vaults, yeah. where the, okay, let's think of your, divide the online wallets in two sections. All right, you're gonna have your hot wallet and you have your vault. Your hot wallet would be the, the cash or the Bitcoin you, you want to spend, it. you want to walk around with a spend on a daily basis. Yes. Your vault now will be your safe. Where's my safe? <laughs> your vault will be your safe now. This is where you store the Bitcoin you want to keep um, your savings, for example. You don't want to have this exposed. So, what the online vaults do is that they take the Bitcoin offline and they insure it uh, for you. So, it's usually like 0 0.01 or 0.02% per year. Um, it's a small fee and to ensure that your Bitcoin is insured and it doesn't get grabbed up, you know? So um, that is one type of wallet. The other type would be the desktop client. These are specific PCs. Desktop PCs are the Macs. Um, the Bitcoin client is huge. I mean, well, the blockchain data is huge. 20, 20 gigs. 20 gigs. Yeah, the, the wallet itself is pretty small. But this allows you to store all the information of all the transactions that happen from day one. So it's basically the entire ledger that you have there on your PC. And it, this helps strengthen the Bitcoin network. So it's pretty good to have this if you really want to help out and keep the network strong. Yeah, being a node though. Yeah, it's, it's great. But it also allows you some added security. You can encrypt your wallet. Um, and if you want to go, um, you might not have the facility of the vault because you're not online, but you can cold storage. Cold storage is, is one of my favorites. I, even deep cold storage Paranoid. is is really good <laughs> because you can take your, say, your paper wallet and or you can encrypt the wallet. Yeah, I'm, about paper wallets, yeah. I'm jumping ahead. We could yeah. take a... a any form of wallet, and then you can encrypt it, and then put it in an actual physical safe. So you have multiple layers of security, as opposed to just your computer, which maybe you can click on an accidental Rihanna porn link on Facebook, and then- What is that for Rihanna? It usually is though, isn't it? It's just this Rihanna, oh look, I'm naked, and then you click it, and you didn't get Rihanna naked, you got malware. I'm sorry if Rihanna's watching this, I'm just using you, you should be flattered. Uh, and then you get your malware, and then some guy has a keylogger on your PC, and saw you. It's just stole your Bitcoin. Just stole your Bitcoin. Took and, it you know, and that's what we're trying to avoid is let's get some awareness. Well, um, if you're going to use a desktop client, all this thing, normal PC security measures should be in place. You should have your antivirus on there, you should have your firewalls up, your malware protection, but also if you're going to download the Bitcoin while on your desktop, encrypt it. You know, put that At heavy least. password. You can still receive Bitcoin. And um, the process for just putting your Bitcoin in cold storage is simply just encrypting your wallet, backing it up, and then taking the backup file, put it on the flash drive, then delete the Bitcoin client completely, yep. delete the Bitcoin client completely, take that flash drive, toss it in your safe, or put it in a drawer, and then you can use the receiving address to still send Bitcoin to that wallet. And that wallet you can use as your cold storage wallet. And you sleep easy at night. 
Now when you want to restore it, you just take it back out. You put the file into the Bitcoin folder in the user dot that and rename it to wallet and you're good to go. And your coin is back. It's Oh, not as simple as I think it. So, but yeah. it's secure. I don't even think that sounds simple. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if you know, we, we're trying to break it down. It's it, it's a more advanced levels of securing a Bitcoin. Sure. The other way is a paper wallet. The paper wallet is actually, um, well, the paper wallet generators I use, they allow you to generate the, the paper, the code for the paper wallet offline, and then they allow you to print it. So basically, you have. We had one that was like Dr. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be humorous with it. You have this piece of paper with two codes on it. You receive an address and you send an address. Uh, the receiving address allows you to get your Bitcoin. You can load the receiving address into an app like Blockchain and you can monitor your wallet even though it's on a piece of paper. And you take this piece of paper and you throw it in your safe and you can keep receiving Bitcoin to it. If you want to spend it, what you do is you scan the send code. You can spend it. But we advise if you do send from that wallet. Oh yeah, make a brand new wallet make after a brand that. Paper because wallet. guys, you know, let's be secure about this. This is this is a new era here. We're dealing with digital money, so we want to make sure we have digital things in place to stop people from taking. Cards. Correct. And as David said, with deep cold storage, you basically add a physical layer of security. So a person will not have to break your encryption, they will have to break Fall. your safe, yeah. <laughs> get past your machetes and shotguns, and then and then <laughs> take your cookies. So yeah. it, you know, a little harder. So to protect do. your cookies. Yeah, protect your cookies. Yeah. Um, that's the that comes to um, I mean, obviously everyone's going to have questions, but yep. you know, when you ask the specific questions, we'll be happy to answer them for you. But this is more of a general outlay of what wallets are. Yeah, just very general. If you think we missed anything, let us know. We're going to add it or do a new video or whatever. Just keep the feedback coming. Yeah, guys, we have lots of love from you. Yeah, so we appreciate the love. Yeah. We're, here to, we're here to stay. So. Yep, not going anywhere. All right, All right. guys, there.